Okay, so going back to the uh, the early, you know, the early 2009, 2010, some of the biggest, uh, most common forms of FUD, uh, we saw was the market share of Linux. It wasn't about Linux itself and about the merits of Linux, it was mostly about the market share. Uh, I've been frequenting quite a few forums uh, for many, many years and I, I saw the patterns. I, I saw what type of FUD wasn't used anymore. Things like the fonts in Linux looking ugly and that basically disappeared sometime around 2008. Uh, which isn't, I didn't have much to do with the fact that it was a problem that was addressed. I think it was just the case of moving goalposts and uh, the trolls trying to find new tactics and some consistent story. So, uh, the path, the going, going backwards, because I think it makes sense, nowadays what we see is the patent uh, lawsuits against Linux and the smears about Linux not being free and uh, people having to pay for it and being disrespectful of so-called IP and and so on. Going further back, it's to do with the market share of Linux. So it's only 1%, blah, blah, blah. Well, now we have Android, uh, the leading, most uh, best-selling operating system for phones in the United States. Uh, so it's really hard to argue, oh, nobody uses Linux. Well, not only do people use Linux in Google, they actually use it on their phone uh, as a kernel. Uh, so that, that file has basically died. Uh, the next video, I'll try and go further back and give examples of patterns of FUD, so especially from proponents of the, of the Microsoft mentality.